Hey guys, it's Funkify here for Wargaming.net, which is the publisher of World of War Tanks, or World of Tanks rather. Uh, we're actually here with Victor today. He's going to talk about uh, World of Warplanes, which is the second game from Wargaming. And uh, Victor, go ahead and tell me a little bit what is what is World of Warplanes. Uh, hello, uh, thank you. Actually, World of Warplanes is a natural continuation of our successful uh, free-to-play uh, PvP kind of short battle concept. So it is like World of Tanks, it's free to play, you download it, uh, you have warplanes spanning from the 30s up to the Korean War first jets. Uh, you take the first one, which is small and slow, you fight a battle or two or three, you upgrade it, then you go to level two, then level three. So you have a garage or a hangar full of warplanes and you just pick one of your warplanes and do those short battles. Now, I know World of Tanks is a, a much slower paced game where you know you, you sit tactically and you shoot and you, you reposition and shoot the enemy. Is uh, World of Warplanes aims to be a lot quicker paced or a lot faster paced in maneuvering? Well, naturally those planes you know, travel at a decent amount of miles per hour and they never stop. So there is no way you can hide in a bush or behind the wall. You're always on the move like a shark. Yeah, and it's more adrenaline kind of packed game, of course. So much more faster pace in World of War Tanks, yeah. yeah. All right, well, uh, let me ask you then, what, what kind of support do you have for like clans? I, I imagine with uh, World of War Planes, you're gonna have a lot of people who wanna play with their friends and a lot of PvP, so what exactly do you have in store for people who, uh, who wanna buddy up and uh, play with all their friends? Well, uh, like World of Tanks, of course, there will be like tournaments, leaderboards and all that tournament style. Clan Wars, we did not yet figure out the like 100% functionality. Our basic idea, our default idea right now is to actually put World of Warplanes uh, battles inside World of Tanks Clan Wars. Let me explain how it works. Uh, imagine that there's a map of Europe and we are attacking Moscow uh, as a tank kind of clan. But before the tank battle, an, a real battle happens. So if my team wins uh, a dogfight battle, then for the upcoming tank battle, we have extra one or two off-map airstrikes or uh, a real recon I, I can make visible to me. I, I can send out a, a small plane because I dominate the sky and see what's going on in this uh, area for like 20 or 30 seconds. Now, is there any PVE? I know World of Tanks is really about PVP. Is there any PVE content that's going to be in World of Warplanes? In World of Warplanes, initially, Every battle, even those of uh, those random battles, they will have PVE aspect ground attack. So it will be AA positions. There will be some tanks moving, some trucks, uh, maybe maybe some uh, bomber convoy missions. So you will have to not only kill the real people's planes in dogfights, but some aircraft classes like ground attack, dive bombers. Their primary target would be will be to uh, you know destroy headquarters, destroy the base, destroy AA defenses. So yes, PVE will be a part of the game from the beginning, and of course training. So you will jump into some training battles against the bots in the very beginning before you kind of get comfortable with the controls. Okay, and uh, my final question is, uh, what is the current status of the game? Are you accepting uh, new invites for beta testers, alpha testers, what are you doing? Well, we were pleasantly uh, impressed and overwhelmed with the amount of requests for the alpha we're having now day one we have 100,000 requests and now we're looking at 400,000 requests sitting in our database unfortunately this state implies only a very small amount of like very limited amount of professional flight simulator guys they are testing the the game now on in on north american server there are some european guys doing this in europe and on a russian server but somewhere around e3 time maybe a little later maybe a little earlier we are planning on to, uh, to, to launch more massive kind of probably beta uh, testing to, to get like thousands and thousands of people in. And hopefully if everything goes right, by the end of the year, uh, we really want the game to be released. Well, that's really great to hear. We're really looking forward to seeing what uh, World of Warplanes is about. And uh, Victor was really glad, really good having you on here. Thank you.